Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be having a quick look at this very nice integral here. So the integral of sine cubed theta over cos theta minus 1 d theta. Alright, so let's dive right into it. So the first things first, what we need to do is probably try and get rid of that sine cubed. Because we know that we really don't like working with any sort of trig function to that degree there. So what we can do is we can use the fact that sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta. And that, that, of course, just comes from our identity, that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. So what that's going to let us do now is that's going to let us rewrite this problem. And we'll do that now. So now that's going to be the integral of sine theta times by 1 minus cos squared theta d theta all over cos theta minus 1. Okay, so it's looking a little bit better. Not quite there yet. So next thing we need to do is recognize what well, we've got the difference of two squares over here. So again, we can start rewriting that in a little bit of a nicer form. So now it's going to be sine theta times by 1 minus cos theta times by 1 plus cos theta d theta. And of course, still all over cos theta minus 1. Okay, so... What I want everyone to take a quick note of is the fact that we've got a cos theta minus 1 on the bottom. And it looks like we've got what? We've got a 1 minus cos theta up the top, a 1 plus cos theta up the top as well. So it looks like ideally we would like to start trying to get rid of some of these values here. So what I need to do in order to do that is I actually need to multiply the top and bottom by a negative. So when I do that, I can now rewrite this out as the integral of negative sine theta, and again, 1 minus cos theta, 1 plus cos theta, that stays the exact same for now. But on the bottom, timesing it by minus, what we'll now change it to is just simply going to be 1 minus cos theta, okay? So just to reiterate, all we've done here is we've just multiplied by minus 1 over minus 1, which we know, of course, we are allowed to do, since that would just becomes multiplying by 1, and that is always okay. Alright, so now we've done that, we can rewrite it, and we can actually start simplifying. So we've got 1 minus cos theta on the bottom and the top, so those will disappear. So now our problem simplifies a lot, down to just be the integral of negative sine theta times by 1 plus cos theta d theta. Okay, so we can expand the brackets if we would like, and then just start integrating. So we'll then have integral of minus sine theta minus the integral of sine theta cos theta d theta, and of course d theta over here as well. Okay, so well, the integral of minus sine theta is going to be cos theta. But what about the integral of sine theta cos theta? So the integral of sine theta cos theta will normally give you a minus half cos squared theta. So what we need to do here is because we've already got that minus out the front, we'll take that into it. So then it becomes plus one half cos squared theta. And the last thing that we need to do is just quickly say plus c. And there we go. So that's going to be our final answer there. So it'll be cos squared theta over 2 plus cos theta plus c, and that's it. There we are. So essentially you end up with a quadratic with cos theta, all right, and there we are. And so if we wanted to quickly check that that is in fact the correct integral, what we can do is we can then say, well, let's try and differentiate this to see if we can then get it back into the original form of sine cubed theta over cos theta minus 1. So really quickly, if we wanted to differentiate this, well, derivative of cos squared theta, that ends up becoming, well, a use of the product rule. So that would end up being minus sine theta cos theta minus sine theta cos theta. We know it's all over 2. And then uh, that plus cos theta would uh, differentiate down to become minus sine theta and then the constant term would disappear. <clears throat> okay, so looking at this, well, there's going to be a factor of 2 that will end up cancelling out since we've got two of the same thing on the top. 
So we can then rewrite that as minus sine theta cos theta minus sine theta. Then we can take out a factor of sine theta. And in fact, take out a factor of minus sine theta. So it becomes minus sine theta outside of cos theta plus 1. And now is the point at which you're probably thinking, ah, well, see, it's clearly different from what we started with. And at this stage, yes, it is. But what we're going to do is we're going to now multiply this by 1. And the way that we're going to write that 1 is we're going to write it out as sine squared theta over sine squared theta. Because then what that's going to allow us to do now is I can then rewrite it out as minus sine cubed theta, okay, times by cos theta plus 1, all divided by, now it's going to become, well, sine squared theta, I could rewrite that out as 1 minus cos squared theta. And so now if I start trying to expand that denominator and then working out with what I've got there, we end up with minus sine cubed theta over, whoops, sorry, outside of cos theta plus 1 times, uh, d divided by, now my apologies there, 1 minus cos theta, 1 plus cos theta. And so what we see now is that with that negative sign there, what we can do is, well, we can just uh, take that into the denominator there. And so we can change that first order. So it would now look like sine cubed theta. And also clearly the cos theta plus 1 and cos theta plus 1 on the top and bottom will cancel out. And now absorbing that negative sign into this bottom bracket here, we end up with cos theta minus 1. And that is exactly what we started with, way back up the top, of sine cubed theta over cos theta minus 1. Let's just double check. Yes, that is in fact what we had. So there we go. So now we've gone from integrating this function to figure out that our solution was simply cos squared theta on 2 plus cos theta plus c, some constant. And then we've now differentiated that function there to then show that it is in fact the correct answer. So there we are. So if you have enjoyed this video or found it useful, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you all have a lovely day. And as always, stay curious.